Hey guys, I'm likely streaming by the time this video goes up and we'll be doing so a lot more in the future. So if you want to come hang out, say hi, what's up, whatever it is, link is in the description below. Hope to see you out there, but back to the regular schedule content. One thing that's taken me by surprise the last week or so is that I've gotten a ton of comments asking, what about BR? What about the Battle Royale? And honestly, as a longtime fan of BRs, that curiosity actually makes me really happy. This wasn't a video that I had normally intended to put up today, but I figured we could take a slight deviation and it'd be nice to discuss it with you, the prospect of a battle royale coming to Modern Warfare. Now, as it stands right now, right up front, there has been no official confirmation that a battle royale will come to Modern Warfare, or better yet, as the previous rumors and leaks suggest, that it will be its own standalone thing, but outside of an official confirmation, it's kind of out there that there's plenty to learn and discover in the game files, the marketing logic, and much more. So today, I wanted to talk about the potential battle royale in a sense that while we may not have anything confirmed, what can we expect? When can we start seeing teasers? And when could we even see it possibly released? And naturally, what the gameplay potentially could be like. So that said, let me know your thoughts below on what you think will be coming. And as well, if you could choose any map within the Modern Warfare universe, what would you want to see placed into said map? As well, if you are new to the channel, maybe considering that subscribe button stays updated with all things Modern Warfare on a daily basis, and especially in the future, if said BR does actually come, we'll be talking about that a whole lot. But anyways, Modern Warfare Battle Royale. It has two possibilities. One, it's coming sooner than we may think, and maybe a huge game changer for everything Call of Duty, or two, it just doesn't happen. And everything that we've seen in the game files, the progress being made, it's all a fraud, a false flag, and won't happen. To which, if that's the case, well, that's the end of the video. See you later. But in all seriousness, other than the fact that there is absolutely no official confirmation by Call of Duty, Activision, Infinity Ward, Raven, Sledgehammer, hell, even Treyarch, Beanox, High Moon, and the other related studios, everything that we really need to consider about this being a project coming is already out there in the open. It's been data mined, it's been teased in game even, it's just a matter of when. This is the biggest question that I've seen asked here on the channel, so before we get into anything else, I want to give you my thoughts on when it may be. When this all first began, rumors, leaks, and everything in between, the most precise estimation that was out there was from leaker The Gaming Revolution, who has, at the time of making the statements, and since then gotten a ton of information correct about what we know from Modern Warfare. The source that gave him the information claimed that we'd end up seeing the launch of late January 2020, which from pre-release mentions and deflections of questions like, will there be a battle royale in modern warfare and answers like, well, a BR wouldn't fit in the box, meaning that it was not going to be in time for launch, but the possibility of shortly thereafter was still up in the air. It fit that window. With notions like that, it kind of made sense. But if that's the case, where is anything in relation to Modern Warfare BR? Certainly, if it follows that rumor, that point, we'd be seeing some sort of announcement or would have already seen some sort of an announcement by this point, no? That would mean that we're at max three weeks away from Modern Warfare Battle Royale. That's the part, though, that I think that I would likely refute, because pre-launch when this estimation was made, seasonal dates and launches weren't taken into account for the content like Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, and so on. Not necessarily that they're an afterthought, but the schedule of events is polished off and sharpened up as time progresses and as things get closer to launch. But with Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, that DLC being the mainline content for Modern Warfare, it would have taken some precedence over a BR release. So Season 2 is slated currently currently for Monday the 3rd of February if we see an immediate changeover from the countdown of the Season 1 Battle Pass, meaning that anything in late January would have a launch right before Season 2, completely overshadowing potentially the forthcoming marketing for the next season. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that we like to refer to a specific marketing calendar with Activision properties, one that I'd like to call the Rule of Two, more specifically the Rule of Two Weeks, wherein Activision does not, from almost all prior marketing outings, like to have a release or a reveal within two weeks of each other. Oftentimes, COD DLC is probably the perfect example here for this, where we could think about maybe a seasonal changeover happening in the midst of maybe the next game's marketing. Oftentimes with, say, COD DLC, it was one week for promo, one week for that launch, and then it was open waters after that. It would allow players to be fully aware of and not have anything else put in front of their faces for an entire week leading up to that launch, and then they could be consumed by playing and experiencing it for another week after that. That casual 
casual base that it's often designated towards, which isn't necessarily you and I who actively tune in and try and listen and learn about the game a little more. It allows that interest for those who pick it up and maybe forget about it to move on to the next thing at that point. So when they've moved on per se, that's when you end up seeing the prospect of another thing being promoted. So following that rule of two, nothing would be worked on being promoted or launched when season two is launching inside that at least one week mark. So you can cross off the possibility in my mind of a BR launching at the end of January, at least from the 27th to the 3rd. But at the same time, you then have to consider that if a launch was the week before that, starting on the 20th, well, you'd see promotions starting this upcoming week, which at the moment is looking unlikely. And especially given that there's a delay in Modern Warfare's next update, which may potentially push that to even as of this upcoming week, whether big or small, because we've already seen things marketed such as the 3v3 gunfight, but there's also the prospect that maybe we even see some new maps coming to round out maybe season one. Admittedly, I think that even on a basic level though, the rule of two is an easy thing to follow, but ultimately, if the rumors are as they suggest, a standalone application for Modern Warfare BR by linking accounts to Modern Warfare and this standalone application, and it being the biggest part of free to play item, it would get way more promotion than that of just one week of marketing. It wouldn't follow the standard marketing promotion like a DLC drop. So at the earliest, if I were to make a guess, I'd say maybe mid season two, and maybe even at a broader sense at the latest within Q1 or quarter one of 2020, taking us to March. But that's also just a guess. But again, why should we even expect this to be a thing if we've had no official confirmation or anything relating to a BR from an official sense? That's where we can dive back into the game files, the in plain sight teasers that, while not necessarily having a sign directly in the middle of them saying, this is for Battle Royale, it's kind of apparent that they are, and things of that nature. Even before launch, we did have those things that were kind of suspicious. From developer interviews when asked about the prospect of it wouldn't fit in the box, leaving the door open for a post-launch opportunity, even being reiterated by developers and I and my colleagues in the YouTube sphere and the gaming press world when asked directly about that, to things like experiencing spec ops at a pre-release capture event a week before launch and seeing the drop-in mechanics for players who could come back into the world, the seed was already planted. There was definitely already things that you're like, that that would fit a battle royale perfectly. But then players started to play Spec Ops, they started to play Ground War, they saw things were all linked together, that things created a larger world, even on top of the rumors and leaks that have already been happening around that time. And not to mention that there are, and there have been even more added, little snippets for loading screens and promo images that showcase the entire Spec Ops world right in plain view. But the biggest bombshell came on November 16th when Reddit user Senesilo, who we've talked about here on the channel before, who's a known and credible data miner, they dropped just about everything that we needed to know about a battle royale in Modern Warfare. Map zones, points of interest, the map itself, which by the way, matches that of what we just mentioned is in the spec ops realm of things that is hidden in plain view. Public match default options like player counts, the modes within battle royale, respawn and mission data, armor, loot, perks and plunder information, and much, much more. This thread curiously actually still remains up, though the images have been removed via DMCA takedowns for showcasing intellectual property of Infinity Ward and Activision, but again, all the pertinent information is still easily obtainable and still right there. I can link that down there in the description below if you guys want to check it out and read really into it, but we have things like map locations of airfield, boneyard, dam, downtown, the gulag, hospital, layover, lumber, overgrown, port, quarry, storage town, super center, train yard, TV station, bank, fire station, gas station, gun store, pharmacy, and police station. All of those are listed right there and are seen on the map. Half of those, especially the specific ones, are even already in Spec Ops missions. They're already viewable and built out in the Spec Ops world. All of which we can see also with some crossover. For example, in the MP sphere, the A spawn on Port of Verdansk is the direct border of Kravnik farmland. The E spawn is across the river or canal from Tavorsk district. You can see the stadium from Spec Ops in Tavorsk district off in the distance. In both Port and Kravnik farmland, you can see the Gulag. In Spec Ops, you can see locations like Overgrown Airfield, even locations like Scrapyard. It's all interconnected, a lot of which draws directly from Spec Ops and the MP offering, though while the MP side in particular is still a smaller comparison, we actually in MP primarily only see the southeast portion of the map. It's all the presence of a larger world, and Spec Ops really hits home on that idea really hard. 
We see general information about the mode also like a 200 player count, which was rumored beforehand and also stays in line with the seeming interest in pushing the boundaries for what Call of Duty can do in terms of player counts for this game. We see solos, duos, and squads of four. We see an end game radar. We see a max health of 150, assuming that there are items like Blackout's trauma kit that will propel you above the max health that you could normally have. We see things like a 60 second down timer. We see private match support. We see a respawn token that will allow you to drop back into the match facilitated by a 1v1 in the gulag as a sort of well here while you wait fight for your ability to play again mechanic we see in-game missions that add another layer of playability that reward players even further we see plunder which is an in-game currency that can be collected stored or risked for even more of a payout we see a jump master option we see loot rarities of white green blue purple and gold we see gas masks bandages vests and helmet armor of level one through three we see ammo defibrillators perks of spotter, tracker, stalker, marksman, sleight of hand, armorer, artisan taste, deep pockets, grenadier, healer, thief, ammo, armor, medic, and plunder scavenger, bounty hunter, ghost, sneaky, and EOD. We see kill streaks. We see so much in the depth of the items in the game files prove this would be a project and a half that would be a longer term one, one that could possibly even be the prospective Call of Duty BR. As much as I love Blackout, if the title is free to play and does well, I don't see there being any way that this doesn't stick around and get hung out to dry after just one year of support. This would be the premier Call of Duty Battle Royale. So, while there's nothing officially having been confirmed about a BR coming, I think that again, it's kind of apparent that there will be. Another piece to the rumor mill is that apparently Raven is supposed to be making this so it wouldn't take away from anything that Infinity Ward is doing currently. It wouldn't take away from future DLC, wouldn't take away from the main focus that Infinity Ward would have in terms of Modern Warfare. They'd still prioritize fixing bugs, adding new content, and everything else fully focused on that, but the BR application would seemingly be handled by a different studio, so they'd both make progress synonymously. As for when, that's just the million dollar question, and like we discussed earlier in the video, I think it'll be at the latest sometime within Q1, pushing the boundaries of that, but I also think that we may end up seeing it mid-season two, maybe towards season three, but we'll have to wait and see. That, though, is where we're going to wrap it up. I just want to talk with you guys because I saw a lot of interest in this discussion here as the last couple of days, so I figured, why not? It's a Saturday. Let's just chill out. Let's have a good time and talk together as a community. So, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you guys really think is the definitive, yes, it's going to happen here out of this? Is there anything in particular you really want to see out of what we discussed with a BR? Do you think by some chance maybe it won't happen? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But that said, hopefully Hopefully enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare, updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best places to get connected to me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those. If you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.